All right. Hello, good evening. This is uh, Missy Hamilton. I am the Director of Elementary Teaching and Learning and the Director of Technology Education. And thank you all so much for sticking with us and supporting us through digital home learning crazy time that we're in. It was suggested that maybe parents need some help navigating Google Classroom on the students' Chromebooks. So we wanted to give you a look-see of what it looks like on the Chromebooks and uh, help you navigate um, Chromebooks and Google Classroom. So I'm gonna have you pan on over over here. This is what the Chromebooks look like. And when a student goes in, well, not everybody has a giant lizard, but this is my son's Chromebook. Students log in, they click on the Chrome icon, and students are trained to go over to the what we call the waffle, the Google waffle right over here in the corner. So they click on that, and they find their Google Classroom icon. So they go here. Now, don't be overwhelmed because I belong to a lot of Google Classrooms, but the first one that pops in is I am a student in this fourth grade math classroom, and Mrs. Smith is the teacher. So I'm gonna click on that because that's my classroom. And you'll see here, this is called the stream, okay? And that is where this teacher posts all of their class work. So you can see here, Mrs. Smith posted a question. She posted an assignment. She posted another assignment and a journal. I'm just gonna show you a couple of quick things. So right here, you see this icon has a question mark on it. Students click there and it says, what has been your favorite thing about digital learning? Over here, there's a box that says your answer. So a student would type in their answer. I like learning technology. And then they turn that in and it says, you won't be able to make any changes. So you turn that in. And then right here, this is a private comment space. That goes directly to the teacher. That is just between your student and the teacher. So they could ask questions here, or they can just have a conversation privately with the teacher. Over here is a class comment, and this will show up and all students can be having a conversation to this prompt. And so I would add a comment, maybe another student in the class would add a comment and you have the opportunity to have a class discussion there. So that's how you navigate conversations or discussion questions. I need to go back to my stream where the students, teachers are posting their, their assignments. And I'm gonna go into this uh, today's journal, okay? and I click in there and Mrs. Smith asked me to say, what do you notice outside? Is it sunny, rainy, or cloudy? And over here, you notice where I submit my work, she has posted a Google Doc. So I simply click on that Google Doc and you'll notice it opens up two tabs. There's my Google Classroom and here is my assignment. And it says my name already, it's the Nature Journal. And I was supposed to write about, I can't even remember, so I'm gonna go back over to my stream. What do you notice outside, sunny, rainy, or cloudy? As soon as I start typing in that assignment, it was sunny, but a little windy. And then I would continue typing. Notice up here in the corner, you see it says turn in. Well, just like you would turn in an assignment to a teacher, you're gonna turn this into Mrs. Smith. I'm gonna click here and put in turn in. And it launches me right on back to the stream. And there it is, I have now submitted that assignment. And if I didn't like it or you didn't like it when you got home from work and you felt like your child could do better, they can unsubmit it and it will no longer be turned in, okay? So that's how you navigate this stream go back to the stream and this is where mrs smith or whoever the teacher is is posting all of those assignments another place to look is the classwork this can be a checklist of all of the assignments so if you notice i didn't do the math module yet and i didn't do the water cycle near pod yet but i did do today's journal that was that assignment in google docs and i did do the one discussion question so this is a great place for parents to keep track of the assignments that a teacher that your student has. So on Monday, March 16th, these are the assignments that I have. And then these are quick links to the class drive folder where all of their assignments are. So that assignment that I did in today's journal is located in this file cabinet. 
So the stream and the classwork are your two places for your student to navigate to. I hope that that's helpful. And I hope that you're having a good experience with digital home learning. It is a unique time for us. And we hope that you have, if you have any questions, please contact 801-264-7411. We have tech support on hand, ready to help with any of your Chromebook issues and any software pro programs that any of your teachers are asking your students to navigate, whether that's Nearpod or Google Classroom, feel free to contact them. 801-264-7411. Have a great night.